it actually pains me. I'm still saying this. It pains me. Juno Pope is not alive to tell his own side of the story. Because everyone is just coming out saying what they see, saying what they know, and saying what they don't know. How can we believe this? You said Juno Pope owns Dalo. So I tell me, John, believe me or not, this virus is responsible for a boat crash. A is responsible. It, it was as if he knew everything he did. See, it was as if this whole thing was intentional. You need to see the way he was ringing that bell. You know, ringing the bell, going down to the river, ringing the bell. Meaning, he wasn't scared of anything. He wasn't scared of the river. And he came out to say that he was scared, doesn't know how to swim. He was scared of water. He was sitting on his own quietly, holding, holding all, all onto a rope. How did something is fishy, honestly? For him to even say that something is fishy, this virus was the beginning of that problem. This virus made that boat crash. When Junior Pope called me and said, Ah, Ada, what's happening? I said, Nothing, what's up? He said, I'm calling you because of TC. What's happening? TC is an artist I employed for this job. Do Chukumatsu Okafo. I called him for this job. He was supposed to. He's playing a role as one of the boys in the movie. So I told I told the junior pup that what did he tell you? He said because he's threatening that he's coming with boys to come and scatter your set that he's going to deal with you. I said, why will he say that? That this is the same thing he did on my set in 2021 when I employed him for a, a job. He started fighting the director that the director is not a DGN member, whereas the director is a DGN member. He was just fighting the poor boy. The, poor, the guy's name is Documents. If he's seen this video, I believe he can attest to it. I saw a maker too. So my director was saying that, Mama, I, I don't know what happened though. I don't know. He was on life jacket. A maker, the DOP, was on life jacket. There was still one life jacket available. I don't know who took it, who had it. But my PM said that day that they saw life jackets hanging there, so they took it. That even he even told Friday, the late Friday, to send one to Junior Po. But that Junior Po said it was dirty or so, so he didn't take it. This people with the life jacket survived. And they also told me that when they were in the water, trying to survive that junior pope was also there asking is everybody okay hope everybody is fine that they even threw a gallon to him to use and hold himself which he was holding that all of a sudden they didn't see him again it was when they came out that they noticed that he was no longer there because and the same divers came and rescued some of them while other divers were still there trying to rescue others. Asked what would have caused this? Who would have caused this accident? He said uh, he didn't know, but that TC was standing. TC was standing on the speedboat and ringing bell. Everybody has been coming out to say their own side of the story, like to tell their own part of the story because the rumor here and there is getting too much. But at the end of the day, Luke Adama came out to speak our side of the story. But I really don't want to do this video, honestly. I really don't want to come out and you know, start talking. But in this case, I have to come out. Like, I must come out to say something because I've listened to what Adama Luke said in her video. She, she came out to tell our side of the story while the, um, the the boat guy has already done that even t tc virus has even done that as for tc virus he actually lied a lot of lie was found in the statement he knew that this guy junior pope is no longer alive he's nowhere to be found like 
you know, the dead don't count. They can't even speak for themselves. So this is the reason why C.C. Barrows had to come out to say all that he said. But as for Adam Manluk, Adam Manluk said something, but he get to some point where I think Adam Manluk was lying, a big time liar in this case, because he said there was a time after the boat tumbled and uh, all of them fell in the in the in the in the river and someone threw he said someone threw gallon to junior pope while he was in the river like junior pope was even checking out on other people in the river how come i i reason it again and and i came to conclusion that if someone threw a gallon to junior pope in the river who then is that person like where is that person that actually threw that gallon to junior pope because all of them tumbled inside the river according to the first survivor which is T-Virus and the second one which is this of uh, the boatman guy you know I, began, I, I can't even understand I can't even comprehend the whole tree of the dollar when everybody was in the river Junior Pope starts drowning how come? how come? you know somebody said something like Junior Pope know how to swim and I was like he knows how to swim then he drown how come? I think that person was lying. I don't need to say some fact about that. I think this guy knows how to swim. That means if he knows how to swim and somebody threw gallon to him. Meanwhile, before they threw gallon to him, according to Adam and Luke, he was already in the river checking, checking up on other people that fell, like trying, he was trying to save them. But okay, since he was trying to save them, meaning he knows how to swim. So what then King Junior Pope? How come he drowned? Something is fishy in this case. Something is fishing they are not telling us something in this case on the night they went there on their own when junior pope came he came on his own he came alone so on this tent while i was getting ready to go drop the card with them i was accompanying with my brother's children two kids that were supposed to go with me we were supposed to be on that boat together getting there I saw Emeka Emeka was my DOP he was just sitting I was surprised because I didn't see others I asked them, what is it? And people surrounded him. I said, Emeka, what is it? Emeka was quiet. Emeka talk to me. What what is it? What's the problem? Why haven't you crossed? Where is Ogolo? Where is everybody? Has JP come? He was quiet. I started shouting, what's happening? Somebody talked to me. I make an house said, JP, don't go. I began, don't go. Friday, don't go. All I did, don't go. Precious. Don't go. Ha. I still don't understand what he meant by that. I said, Emeka, what do you mean, don't go? Don't go where? Don't go where? Like, they are not shooting again. Is there the day inside water? The day inside water? I said, no. Let me go. Let me go and look for them. They started holding me. They started holding me that you don't go. I said, let me go. Let me be there. Let me be sure the divers are looking for them. They said no, that there are over 50 divers inside the water looking for them. Hey, God. I still can't believe this. I still can't believe this because these crew members were my family. 
they've been working with me in Lagos. If I'm shooting in Lagos, they will transport from Asaba to Lagos to come and work with me. All through last year, we stayed together in Lagos. We were filming, working together. This is my first time working with JP. It's my first time filming with JP. He's my friend. The wife is my friend too. I talked to the wife sometime. And that was when she gave JP the phone and said, Why aren't you giving my husband work? JP said, I thought you'd be my friend. Why you know they give me work? I told JP that, you know, you, my actual family, they shoot. I hardly do action. He said, no, say they do love story or they do other things. That's why he's an artist now. I said, yeah, that's true. That I forgot that as an artist, you can do other things. So, if Adama said Junior Pope was given a life jacket and he refused to put, put it on because it was dirty. So why this video? Honestly, just take a look at this video. This is Adama, the producer and other crew members in this canoe. None of them put on life jackets. Look at them, no life jacket. That is to tell you that life jacket was not available. These people didn't even provide any life jacket. There was no provision of any life jacket, honestly. If there was a provision of life jacket, these people would be wearing life jackets in this video. But none of them put in on this life jacket. That is to tell you that there was no life jacket at all. So it pains me that Junior Pope is not alive to tell his own side of the story. It is obvious that Adam Manuk is actually trying, you know, she's trying to push the blame out of her side. She is supposed to be blamed like 85% because she is a producer. She is, you know, she is the guidance. She's supposed to provide everything. But Junior Pope actually f up for not wearing a life jacket, honestly. And it actually pains me. I'm still saying this. It pains me Junior Pope is not alive to tell his own side of the story. Because everyone is just coming out saying what they see, saying what they know, and saying what they don't know. How can we believe this? You said Junior Pope owns Galo. So I tell me, John, you want to tell us that you want us to start thinking that Manu Water night drawn You want us to start putting it on a spiritual case. No, never. Something is fishy. I am still saying it, whether you like it or not. Believe me or not, this virus is responsible for a boat crash. A is responsible. It, it was it, it is as if he named everything he did. It was as if this whole thing was intentional. You need to see the way he was ringing that bell. You know, ringing the bell, going down to the river, ringing the bell, meaning. He wasn't scared of anything. He wasn't scared of the river. And he came out to say that he was scared. He doesn't know how to swim. He was scared of water. He was sitting on his own quietly, holding, holding all, all onto a rope. How did something is fishy, honestly? For him to even say that something is fishy, TC virus was the beginning of that problem. TC virus made that boat crash. I'm not talking about blocking the boat man, blocking the driver, no. He, he rang the bell when he was not supposed to. And he was told not to do that because that day was a full market day, something like that. But he rang the bell because he wanted something to happen. He said, he said, the virus is not far from this problem. This virus should be head responsible and the other guy Stanley should be head responsible for taking Junior Pope to the urban list before taking him to the hospital. You are not his family member. You, you, you took him to, to urban list. For what? All these people really do. They, didn't, they, they never did any good to him. They never did any good to him. No, 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 no care, no emergency. Everything was just done in a very negligent manner. It was done in a very careless manner negligent in a human one thanks for watching pretty boy update we're going to see you guys in our next update stay tuned subscribe turn on post notification on the icon have a wonderful time and peace out